Take my coach. Yeah. Huh? Come here. So you want to fight? Come on down. <laughs> I'll come down. <laughs> Mind you, don't fall in. Huh? I mean, it's so muddy. Huh. <laughs> now will you give me a lift? Sure, sure. Ah! Following the Qing dynasty, gambling became rife in China. And as usual, where there's gambling, there was a great deal of crime. Professional cheats with their kung fu strong arm men were everywhere, making a living off the gambling public. The public, of course, never had a chance. They lost their fortunes and all their possessions and often destroyed their families. Millions of lives were ruined through this insidious vice. Violence in the casinos was commonplace as desperate men fought to get a share of the vast sums of money that changed hands daily. Gambling became the main curse of Chinese society. And it was truly said that gambling was a greater threat than wild beasts or the floods. In this film, we will show you just one of the incidents that occurred in those turbulent times, and some of the tricks and secrets of one of the most dangerous of all professions, the professional gambler. Hey, hold it, hold it. Whoa. Here. Thank you, sir. Some service here. What is it? Why are you looking at me? Why not? Isn't it allowed? <laughs> Look all you want to. Hey, what do you do? Well, what would your guess be? <laughs> A chicken's dealer. <laughs> hey, why don't you come down and sit with me? come here for a fight. <laughs> I'll kick you out. Come on. Don't you need business? What is this? You mean you've got some money? Don't go on appearances. Can be deceptive. You see? <laughs> <laughs> well, I must admit this is a bit unexpected. <laughs> Sorry. You want to come upstairs now? <laughs>
Well, you look so different. You look like some rich visitor from the city. <laughs> yes. If I manage to win, I shall marry you. That's so. That I call wishful thinking. Anyway, that doesn't interest me. You see, I've got a man. <laughs> so what? You can't have too many. <laughs> Stop that. You're fresh. Anyway, no kidding. You wait for me here. Right. I'll wait here. But still, be real careful. Sure. And don't you start any trouble in the casino. Don't right. forget that. Right. Out win! <laughs> right, play your bets now. Come on now, play your bets. Get you. Hmm. This is a casino here. Let me see those. Uh. Uh. He's as blind as a bat. I'm in the wrong place. I'll go then. Okay. <laughs> You'll go. <laughs> Come on. Permit us to carry you out. Huh? Sure. <laughs> 
We'd like to do that. So that's nicer for you. All right. Uh, oh. Hey, damn you. He isn't blind. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you are, though. Huh? Right! All right, come on. All right, we'll get him. And do a good job on him. What's the matter? Boss, it's trouble. There's a big fight outside. Treat him like this? Now look, this is no customer. I know just what he is, a troublemaker. Enough! Now apologize. The boss, just listen. This guy only likes to talk big. Like what? Says he wants the big game. Big game? Mm. And why not then? That's okay. Uh, boss. Uh, uh, All right, go on. Now, sir, I don't know you. Your name? Name's Chang. Very common name. Ah, stranger. That's right. My name's Chin. I'm the boss. How do you do? I must say, it's a great pleasure to have a rich customer. You're the first one we've had. Is that so? But I'm afraid your men have messed up my suit. I'm so sorry. I hope you'll forgive them. <laughs> Yun Pang. Yeah, boss? Escort Mr. Chang and treat him well. The best of everything. Sir. <laughs> as soon as I saw you, I knew you were a nice man. <laughs> Come on, sweet. <laughs> hey, have a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wears some nice cloth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he must go to the tailor. Here. Oh, I want some sweets too. <laughs> hey, boss, it's all ready. <laughs> Mr. Chang. <laughs> Mr. Chang. <laughs> We're ready. Please. Come on. Come. Please. Please. Good night. Sir.
Mm. Sir. <laughs> Mr. Chang? What's the steak? <laughs> well, sir, up to you. Mr. Chin, my stakes are high. I bet my life. <laughs> Come on. It's quite obvious. You must be rich. Just take your clothes. They cost a lot. <laughs> so don't make jokes. <laughs> Mr. Chin, this is no joke. As for these clothes, I just hired them. I can assure you, I'm not rich. Hmm? After all, if I wasn't dressed well, I mean, I wouldn't be here. Ah, I get it. Yunpang, mm -hmm. give him ten dollars. Hey, no thanks. I think you've got me wrong. Hmm? Too small? Come on. Money means nothing. I told you I've come here to bet my life. Well, well, how then? You tell me. Your life, how much is it worth? Up to you. What do you think it might be worth? Fifty bucks, all right? Fifty bucks? Well, uh, okay. Let's say it's worth fifty bucks. Right. Let's play. You win, and I lose my life. Hmm. You pan? Sir? Play with this gentleman. Okay. I'll just watch. Please. Jim Pang. Sir. Paul's Kung Fu is pretty good. However, way things look, I don't think he's good enough. That guy's really tough. Hmm. Don't worry. Let him win. Just a little. Then he'll leave. Sir! Hey, not bad. Seems like I won. All right, pay him out. Please. You're bet. Shall I? Fifty bucks. That's it! That's not bad. you with? Mr. Chin, I don't understand. Come on, let's not play games. Just tell me who you're with. Let's keep it civilized. After all, we treated you well. I bet I won. It's not enough. That's so? Take it and go. And no more betting. Hey. Oh, no, oh, no. I'm staying. After all, I'm on a winning streak. You won't go? Of course not. Do you think I'm kidding you? Right. But before we go on, I'll tell you a story. Oh? Even entertainment, too. The boss tells stories. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Well, now, wait till you've heard this. You may change your mind. Please. Hmm. All right, go ahead. It was the 18th of April last year. We were new, just started the business. In fact, it was our first month. Good day, welcome, sir. Do come in. What sort of game do you have in mind, sir? Just take a look, sir. Step right in there, go on. <laughs> then midway through the afternoon, this young man suddenly arrived. All right, come on, take him up, sir. Take <laughs> Right? Oh, damn it. I lost. <laughs> Listen, the gods must be angry with you. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What is this? Just look, you scared all the customers. So what? Anyway, I just want to bet. <laughs> 
Of course. Name your bet. I bet my life. So then, they brought the guy in to see me. Now, my friend, I hope you think this over. Look, it's not worth it. You can't win much. It's not worth the risk. It's my risk. Now, look here. You seem a nice young guy. I don't want to see you die. If you really need money, then I can help you. Here, sir. Here's some cash. Take it. Get lost. Now, listen. Trying to insult me, are you? Think you can buy me off cheap, don't you? Now, come on. Don't get emotional. Are you going to play? Right. Ah. Sorry, boss. I've lost. All right. Pay him out. Right. <laughs> I must say, you're real lucky. You've been getting some good tiles. <laughs> Just like you. We let him win a few games. Quite a few hundred dollars. And him, he was very happy. Well, young man, that's the end of the game now. What's that? You're wrapping it up now? Of course we are, my friend. You've already won a lot, at least a thousand. Huh? There isn't much. I want to keep playing. <laughs> you might regret that. <laughs> we'll see. So excited there. Tell you what, take 400. I forget the whole thing. I won't. I came here to bet with my life. And I'm not gonna leave alive. Hey, give me that knife. Get back. Now listen. Be <sighs> reasonable. You're just being emotional. Calm down now. Now you just take the money, huh? <laughs> I made my bet, and I never go back on my word. Hey! <laughs> and so, he killed himself. <sighs> not bad, not bad. Good story, I must admit. But that poor guy was just unlucky. He gave up too easily. All right. Will you quit? <laughs> Mr. Chin, how could I stop? I came to play, and I will. I don't want to die yet, but I'll risk it. And I'm not going to lose. I'm lucky. Right. But let's get this straight now. You win, and you keep your winnings. You lose, and what happens then? Well, tell me. If I should lose the game? In that case, I just leave. Well, don't forget, a promise is a promise. Mr. Chin, can I ask you something? Go on. What if I keep winning here? Whatever you win, you can take. Good. All right. No, sir. Sir. Get Mr. Wong. Sir. Mr. Wong hasn't got back here yet. That's okay. You there. Sir. Go and get Mr. Farm. Sir. All right, let's get going then.
Dallas wins. Damn it. I've lost again. That's thirty dollars gone. Now another ten bucks. This place will break me. I never score. You don't? You want to score? I know her. Ah, yeah. Well, you go low to North Street. To the horse. Yeah. Give me a dollar. Good luck, Wade. I'm bound to win. Get out. Nico. Take it. I'll be back. Well, now, we're going to play? Don't worry. Mr. Fong is coming. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now I see. You're top dealer. Hi, boss. All right. You play with him now. No limit. Sir. Well, sir, where do you want to play? You say. Right. Want call? Sir. Give me a new box of tiles. Sir. Sit down, please. Please. Well now, are you ready? Mr. Chen, where's the money I won? I'll have it brought, right away. What are you betting? The lot? Right. No point in messing around. I'm a real gambler, as you'll find out. Good. Take a look. Hey. Hey. Three grand. Is that right? Not quite. Three thousand two hundred. Just see them first.
Satisfied? No, I think that I can beat that. Huh? Can't be. It is. You had it figured out wrong. Hey. That's strange. Just relax. He's right. You're too excited. Just relax. Here, let me shuffle, huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. All right, let's watch this. See? Just a trick. <laughs> okay, let's get started. It's your deal again. What's your bet? As usual, the lot. Six thousand four. Let's see. Well then, let's see. What you got? Good ones. They may be good, but they aren't good enough. again. Take a look there. Hmm? Can't be. Can't be. You can't have those. It isn't possible. You doubt them out, my friend. Let's have no argument. So just pay me out and hurry up. <laughs> Today we've got an important guest here. So I'm sorry to tell you, we have to close early. I'm sorry, very sorry. Close the door. One and a half million. Thanks. 
say it's 10 gold bars. your bet. I'll bet the lot. That's all the money there and the gold bars. All right? Let's begin. Oh, uh, oh one bet. That's right. One bet. Oh, huh. and that's the end of it. Then you go. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll play, then I go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear God, oh, Mother of God, oh, please help me, oh, God, please help me, please help me. Oh, oh God, oh, please, please help me so much. Huh. Now, don't waste time. Huh? You don't push me. Just deal those tiles, or I'll deal. Mr. Wong, sir! <laughs> That's right. You look a bit better now. I'll play with you. I think you'll find I'm more than a match. Tell me. Do you know him? Tell you later. Why don't we play? We'll play the big game. the dice to Mr. Chang. Sir. Now then. Just one game. Right. And then I shall leave. Your dice. Please. How about that? Did you like that? Great, great. Very good, very good. Excellent technique. Yun Pang? Sir? Give me the dice. Sir.
Don't count this. Just practicing. Well, boss, I'll try and do my best. Hope so. The whole thing depends on you now. Sure. Well done. Well done. I must say, you're a real expert. The best I've seen. Thank you. You're pretty good yourself. But I lost. Please. Hmm? <laughs> First I lost it, then you lose it, and now we're even, huh? Mr. Chin, it's very difficult to win, but very easy to lose, though. Excuse me. I'll go. My friend! Now, wait! Jai Yun. Sir. Get a thousand bucks. Give it to our guest here. Hurry. Sir. Now, wait. What is this? Nothing. A little gift. So that I'll leave and not come back? Not at all. Nothing like that. And to refuse it will offend me. Don't worry. I'm going. But as for your little gift, I don't need it. Well, that's up to you. I won't force you. Yun Pang? Yeah, boss? Get Mr. Chang's coat. Sir. Chung Yun. Sir. See him out. Mr. Chin, going back to that story you told me, I lost the dough, but not my life. My friend, now don't you push your luck. <laughs> Why not? Do you say that my life is only worth $50? I came in the traditional way. I leave in the same way. I hear that a man can bet his life in this casino. Now, is that in fact so? It is. You heard right. Well, then, if that's true, and as you say that my life's only worth $50, we'll go back to that story of yours. I'll tell it a different way. It's the true version. Come in, come in. Mm, right. One day, the 28th of April, a young man came to your casino. He was a pleasant young man. I'm pretty well dressed. Please, sir, do come in. <laughs> I'd like to meet your boss. The boss? Right. I want to see him. You know our boss, then? Why, no. Oh. Ah. Then could you wait here a while, please? Sure. Please. Huh? Well, he doesn't know me? So he says. Hmm. I think we may have some trouble. Tell Hall to have his men ready. And then tell Wang to come on in. I'll be back. Your name, sir? My name's Chen Fu. Oh, Mr. Chen, what's the problem? They say that in this place, if a man wants, he can bet his life. Is that right? Oh, well, it isn't quite that simple. Welcome, welcome. 
It's a great pleasure to have you as a guest. I've got everything all ready for you. Mr. Chen, please. Oh? All ready? Right. Especially for you. <laughs> That's good. Your kung fu's great. <laughs> I see. This is how you win your bets. It won't do you any good. It's too late now. So he never even had a chance to play before you kill him. <laughs> hmm. I see you know quite a lot. All right, what do you want? You know what I want here. I told you when I came. I'm betting my life against your casino. When do we get started? Don't try it. It's not worth it. Nobody gets to beat us. Well, I want to try. Then you're a fool. I warn you, you're gonna regret it. I never regret. All right, I won't. Give him a game. What game? Whatever you like, friend. You there. Fetch me a set of dice. We're gonna find out who's best. Sir. Seems your casino is mine now. You're crazy. You men, get him. Sir. Finish him off. Sir. God damn it. <laughs> Easy. Don't rush. Enough for everyone. One by one. One by one. And you there. Come here. Yeah. 
really got a lot of men here. Mr. Chin, this isn't a casino. It's a kung fu school. Huh. Think you're gonna leave here? That's what you want, that's what you're gonna get. Hey, look after that. I got business outside. That's enough. You beat me. I've lost out. Come at 12 tomorrow, and I'll hand over. All right. I'll be here then. But don't go back on your word. Just a little drink. Just a little drink. Come on, do you do it? You're a little drink, yes. What's this? Are you two trying to get me drunk or something? No, no. What is this? I think you're waiting for your new boyfriend. Your new darling. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> None of your business. Uh -huh. Damn you. Well, look at that. He's come back already. <laughs> <laughs> you talk too much. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will see you later, gorgeous. <laughs> well, now, so you come back to see me after all. <laughs> What's more, I'm a rich man. Oh, uh -huh. you've won? Sure. Let me see it. I want to have a look. All right. I'll show you upstairs. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> He's really got away with the girls. Mm. I'm just as good looking as he is, too. Ah, don't be stupid. You ever look in the mirror? No. Mm? He's a nice looking guy. Looks a little like me. Like you? Ah, oh, you're like a bed exit. Well, that's it. No business well, today. Well, I'm well, very sorry. Well, sorry. Well, sorry. Well, Tomorrow, well, maybe, well, huh? Well, sure, okay. Well, 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 we're close. Well, Tomorrow, then. Well, Bye. Well.
coming. Yes, sir. That guy, he hasn't come. So you open up this afternoon. Sir. Well, friend, I'm sorry. The way it looks, I may not need you. A wasted journey. That's all right. I'll hang on. Thanks. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I've waited for hours here. We did say 12. <laughs> Let's go in and talk. No need. Why not? Well, now, this place is mine. What can you say? Oh? <laughs> uh -huh. I take it. You still want to have it? Yeah, I thought we'd agreed on that one, hadn't we? After all, you did say that I'd won it. Well, if you're worrying about promises, you did say you'd come at 12. If I had come on time, I wouldn't be alive now. You're pretty smart. Now look, I know you won here yesterday, but now things are different. Of course, of course. I can see that very clearly now. So you know what I'm driving at. That's pretty obvious. You want to keep this place. Let's say, change of heart. <sighs> I was a fool. I should have taken the place over yesterday. You're right there. <laughs> and so you won't give it to me now? Come on, what do you think? Sorry. I must have it, and that's that. Right. If you want to wind up like that other guy... Listen, Chip. I'd like to tell you another story. Oh? Last year, towards the end of September, two strangers came into town to gamble. When they arrived, they went straight to the casino. The two men were well-dressed. One was Mr. Chin, the other Mr. Wong. Good day to you, sir. Can I help? We'd like to see your boss. Oh. Big gay? <laughs> You're dead right. Please. Have a smoke? The two men were obviously rich and good class, so the management was pleased to see them and made them welcome. This is our boss, Mr. Chu. Uh, welcome, welcome. What would you like to play? Uh, don't mind. Good. Mr. Chu treated them as honored guests, made them as welcome as he could. that day. Mr. Chu, you don't seem to be having very much luck. <laughs> Listen, just keep going. We're doing all right. Sure. Monchak. Yeah? You have a try. Take over. Sure. I'm sorry. I need some more cash. It won't take very long. Poor old Chu never had a chance. He was in the hands of some real experts. When the news got down the casino, it caused quite a stir. 
the best now. Raise the best now. Raise the best now. Raise the best now. That's it. Come on now. Raise the best. Raise the best. <laughs> you lose again. <laughs> but at that point, Boss Chu started to get suspicious. Hold it. I think there's something wrong. What's this? You don't trust us? I'm the loser. Let's finish the game now, all right? Mr. Chu, don't you know the rules of casinos? You can't stop until your clients leave. <laughs> Mr. Chu, the poor fool, hadn't realized yet that you hadn't just come to win all his money. That was just the beginning of your plan. You're very good. Real experts at gambling. Two of the best I've seen in the whole of my life. But still, though, let's not push this. Why don't we finish the game now? That way, we're all happy. And there's no hard feelings. Huh? Listen, you. Let me tell you why we've come here. We're taking over your place. Hey! Can I help you? to go to the place. That was that. Well, Mr. Chin, wasn't that what happened? Wasn't it? That's a lot of crap. It's all lies. Oh, no. You planned the whole thing, using your friend, Mr. Wong. You've got it wrong. Wasn't like that at all. I'm not going to argue. What? You accept that? I never push a man. And when I win a game, I don't kill the loser either. Chu killed himself. Suicide. Oh, no. I'll tell you the story. Well, then. Good idea. Mr. Chu, I'm very sorry. You're gonna die soon, but still, We'll have to tell everyone you killed yourself. And you had to do it. So you could die honorably. Because you bet your life. And lost the bet. Listen. I beg you. I beg you not to kill me. Paul. Here. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir. <laughs> Hot tea! It's a very good place now. It's the best in town. Sure, sure. And the food's very good, too. That's right, it is. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm? do you know something? The previous owner bet his life and then killed himself. Sure. And after he died, this Mr. Chen took over here. You mean to say the old man bet his life on a First day? of all, he lost the casino. After that, he had nothing left. So he bet his life. He lost and hung himself. Sure. And the new boss, to commemorate him, decided to make a new house rule here. Anybody who wants can bet his life against the casino. And well, that's how you did it. And that's the story you put around afterwards. Later, 
A lot of men came to bet their lives against the house. But you had all of them killed, just like you killed Chen Si Fu. That's all lies. You deny it? Just who are you? I'm the man who's going to win this place. Doesn't matter who I am, not to you. But you're going to be sorry you ever met me. Want to kill me then? I saved you. Let's be friends. You're kidding. Don't worry. Come on. Right. Listen. My casino. You take half. But why? That's why Wong betrayed me. Oh? Is that so? <laughs> now come on. You know it. Me? Wong invited you to come here. He knew I'd ask him to play. And then he made sure he lost to you. What's more? He arranged that you steal his card, so as to delay him getting here. He used you to destroy me. That right? Good. I must say you worked that out well. Mr. Wong was getting tired of simply working for you. That's stupid. I paid him well, and I promised him he'd get a share. And now I'll get a share. Right. I want you in with me. But why do you need me? Run it yourself. Can't gamble. I can fight, but that's all. So you want me to replace Wong? No, I don't mean that. If I want half, will you give it me? Of course. Good. Then we're partners. <laughs> Damn it. What's with you? Going around moaning? <laughs> Listen, girl. 
We've known each other a long time. I know it hasn't always been good, but we always hope, though, huh, for the big chance. <laughs> Hoping never does any good. You make it, or you don't. <laughs> Damn it. I've worked for Chin for years, half of my life. He said I could have a share of the place, so I worked my guts out. And now what? He calmly tells me that I'm out because he's found some new partner. I'm out on my ear. That's men, all selfish. Of course, men are selfish. Even so, that guy wants too much. He promised me a share. In fact, he only works here. Wong's always been a very tricky guy. Always greedy, never satisfied with his share. Of course, that's why he did this. He planned on me winning the casino and the money. And then, getting rid of you as well. He's always been a very ambitious fellow. I must do something about him before he thinks of something else. I've got to think of something. Hmm, right. I'll do it. It's not too late. I'll fix him. <laughs> do what you want. Huh? Well, what's wrong with you? Don't be mad at me, huh? Come on. What's wrong? Got another guy? That isn't any of your business. <laughs> huh? Huh? Stop kidding me. I need your help now. And if this doesn't work out, I'm very likely to wind up dead. <laughs> well, tell me. What's your plan? <laughs> what do you want? Where have you been? The boss would like to have a word with you. What? With me? All right. What do you have to say? Hmm? Uh, 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 Mr. Two. Speak up. Mr. Two, you can kill me. But before I die, I have something to say. I just want to explain all this. You betrayed your boss. What is there to say? Uh, listen. Uh, I'll tell you. That new partner of yours. His name isn't Chang. Don't bother to lie now, it's useless. I'm telling the truth now. I swear that I'm not lying. You've just got to believe me. Right. Tell me, who is he? Uh, he's the son of old Chu, the one we killed. What? The guy who owned this place? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. And you sent for him? Listen, I'm sorry. It was my conscience. I felt guilty, you see. Your conscience? Don't kid me. Uh, but I'm telling the truth. Why didn't you leave? Uh, come on. If I had, you'd be dead. But I can help. I've got a plan. But first, I want my share of the casino. <laughs> my friend, it's a bit late to be thinking of that. But you did promise me. And right now, you really need my help here. Right. What's your plan? And how do we fix that guy? Where do we find him? I'll tell you. But first, though, you've got to promise me that I can have his share. Then I'll tell you. Right. Will you sign a contract? Right. I will. You there. Get some paper. Yes, sir. What's your plan, then? How do we fix him? First, he killed your father. And now, he's after you. I'm just a nobody. I'm just something for men to play around with. In fact, most of the time, I've had a miserable life. Everybody has used me.
But anyway, you've met me. And when we've more time, I'll try and help you. Come on, I promise you, things are going to get better. And when this is all over, you'll be all right. Hmm? I should tell you, there's something you don't know. But still... Don't get upset, come on. Anyway, crying never does any good. It solves nothing. Uh, now listen, that man Wong, he also murdered my father. He what? Uh, 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 come on, please, please let me down. Uh, I can't help you. This whole thing was your idea. How are we going to work this? Tell me. That, that guy, I've already arranged to trap him. So please let me down now. He's a very tough guy. How'd you do it? Don't you worry now. I'll be here very soon. You sure you're not kidding me? If you don't free me, my plan won't work. Let him down now. If this works, you'll get your share. If not, you're finished. Let's go up and see what's happening now. Right. Come on. Him. Not in a lifetime, but I did it. No problem. Tell me, how'd you manage it? <laughs> it was very simple. I just got hold of some drugs and put them in his drink. <laughs> hey, well now, who's the smartest now? That guy or me? I must admit, you're a useful guy. I'd better keep you around. All right. Don't brag. What about me? I did it, not you. That right? Be quiet. That's enough. Yeah, but without my help, you could never have done it. Huh? You... Hold it. She's right. She did a pretty good job there. Well then, what you got to say? There's nothing to say. So you've got me now. But still, tell me about my father. How he died. Okay. Now I can tell you. We finished him off in exactly the way that you told me. You had the right story. Well, aren't you sorry you won't be able to avenge him? Right. I wanted that. Wanted you to admit. And now I don't mind dying. <laughs> Mr. Two. Yeah? He's been a lot of trouble to us. We'd better get rid of him quickly. Don't you worry. I'll fix him. Right. You two. Get a hold of him. Right. right. Come on. Get, come on. Uh.
Better split up. Right, that way and that way. him out, I'll go round and wait at the back. When he comes out, then you finish him off. See your gang's got here. to him, bring him along. Sir. All right, come on, quick, sir. No, wait. Look, Chu, what is this? What's going on? Who is this Chu? My name isn't Chu. I'm a superintendent of police. What's that? 
You're not Chu's the... son? Chu never had a son. So that's it. Wong Kwan, you goddamn you! Now, boss, I didn't know that. He was the one who told me he was Chu's son. Take him to the station. And hurry it up. Sir. Uh, Go. Captain. Sir? Have any more orders come in? Yes, sir. That casino. We're to convert it into a school. Good. Let's go then. Bring them along. Right. <laughs> <laughs>